Hello guys, my name is Bob. In this video, I'm going to show you the McCloy series of Second X uh, using the top right hand corners formula. So the top right hand corners formula uh, shows us that the function can be expressed as an infinite series called the McCloy series in which the individual term itself is expressed in this form. Okay, uh, before we are able to express the function as the you know McCloy series, we need to find what is my f zero, which means uh, evaluating the function at x equals to zero. F prime zero, differentiating the function one time and evaluate uh, at x is equals to zero. Differentiating the function two times and after which evaluating at x is equals to zero, so that will be f double prime zero. And then f triple prime zero, uh, differentiating the function three times and uh, evaluate at x equals to zero. And differentiating the function four times and after which evaluate uh, uh, x is equals to zero. So let's start off with uh, fx. We know fx is equals to secant x. And then the, uh, differentiating the function one time will get secant x tangent x. Uh, differentiating the function two times uh, basically what we will do is that uh, we will use the product rule of differentiation we get secant x the differentiating the tangent x plus uh, tangent x uh, differentiating uh, secant x so this part here we are actually doing doing the product rule of differentiation after which we evaluate it so that will be secant x a uh, differentiation of tangent x is secant square x uh, plus tangent x differentiation of secant x is secant x tangent x so now we have uh, secant cube x plus secant x tangent square x so that is my f double prime x now we differentiate it one more time f triple pi x so f triple pi x we have uh, 3 secant square x uh, differentiating the uh, trigo which is secant x plus from this second term here we will do the product rule differentiation so what we have is we have the secant x uh, uh, differentiation of uh, tangent square x plus uh, tangent square x uh, differentiation of uh, secant x Okay, and then we're following which we will evaluate it. Uh, differentiating secant x is basically secant x tangent x as shown in previous part. Uh, secant x, uh, differentiation of tangent square x is 2 uh, tangent x differentiating the trigo <laughs> is actually secant square x plus uh, tangent square x uh, differentiating secant x is actually secant x uh, tangent x. Uh, trying to simplify it further, we will have 3 secant uh, cube x tangent x plus 2 secant cube x tangent x plus uh, secant x tangent cube x. So this is equivalent to um, 5 secant cube x, I would say tangent x. Uh, plus uh, secant x tangent q x all right okay uh, then uh, we're going to do the f double prime four primes of x okay that means differentiating the function four times uh, so from here we have the answer uh, what we will do is that we will do the following we have 5 uh, secant cube x differentiating tangent x uh, plus 5 tangent x uh, differentiating secant cube x uh, plus tangent uh, cube x differentiating uh, secant x uh, plus secant x um, differentiating tangent cube x. It's going to show a bit shortcut, but uh, when we evaluate this, we should be able to get uh, 5 secant to the power of 5x plus uh, 15 secant cube x tangent square x plus 3 secant cube x tangent square x um, and plus secant x tangent to the power of 4x 
okay after which uh, once we have found what is our fx f prime x and so on and so forth we can actually evaluate the function at x equals to zero so at f zero so basically it's just secant zero so we know that secant zero is one over cosine zero so cosine zero is actually one uh, so we get one f prime zero is basically zero because tangent zero is zero all right so anything when you anything you if you see ten if you see you know tangent zero is just basically zero so f three f double prime x um, basically it is just second cube x so it's just one okay uh, and then f triple prime x is zero f four prime x is basically five because uh, we are only evaluating this term while well, the rest of the term because it has tangent x so basically when you uh, substitute x equals zero is basically just zero so once you have all this uh, you can actually form your Maclaurin series of secant x so for, last but not least uh, the Maclaurin series of secant x can be approximated um, by to be f0 is 1 uh, f prime zero is zero, so we skip that. Uh, f prime zero is basically one, so we have x square over two factorial. F triple prime zero is zero, so we can skip this term. Well, uh, f four prime zero is five, so we have five uh, x to the power four over four factorial. So I'm actually evaluating up to the x to the power four term. So the final answer. Uh, for this uh, Maclaurin series of secant x is actually one plus x square, uh, five plus five over twenty-four x to the power of four. Uh, so I'm evaluating it up to the x to the power of four terms. If you do like this solution, press the like button and don't forget to I mean to subscribe to this channel for more uh, Maclaurin series and integration problems. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys uh, do like this video, please press the like button. See you guys in the next um, video.